Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here and today we're doing another brick haul. This is quite a large box and it's from bricklink.com. Right, lots and lots of little bags. Got a plastic bag avalanche. Get rid of the box. Right. Uh, get rid of some of the big ones first. We've got two bright green 8x16 base uh, plates rather. For our fairground. Oh dear. Got some lilac purple limb pieces. Now, could use these on a tree, but I think what I'll use them for is under the sea as coral. So, it's a long way off using those. We've got some dark green bricks. That one has been chewed to bits. So that can go in the bin. But some of those, they're for plants. We've got some heads. Let's stick all these together, make them easy to see. Okay, so we've got a cool guy with some glasses, a lady with some sunglasses. I don't know what he is with the marks on his cheeks. Well, he's a bit chewed as well. Damaged on that side. I'm not sure I like that third one. And then a stern face for the fourth one. Unhappy on the other side. That's good. A white brick, one by six by five. It's got that sticker on. I'm not sure if I want to keep that and use it as a advertising on the sort of outside of the building. Or if I'll take it off and just have it for the brick, but either way. A cash register in this purpley colour. I've got a purple theme going on in one of my stores, so it will fit well there. Now, I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I saw him. He's an insectoid or a bugoid, something like that, minifigure. I thought he looked a bit like Predator um, out of the movies, but uh, either way, he could be hidden in some foliage or something like that in my city. I don't know, but I liked him and he was a pretty good price, so I got him. There's a lot of bags for not many pieces, but anyway, here we've got a telephone receiver piece that's from the... Uh, rocket launch set that I have and this is a piece that was always missing so it's good to finally get that. Got two white and green awning pieces. I'm planning to use those on a shop. It's just another way of doing it rather than having the one by three slopes in green and then white alternating. This is a bit of a different pattern so I like that. Got three of these modified plates with a bar on. I need these for my, um, though I don't think these are Lego actually. Are they Lego? Well, that one is. Those two aren't. No, they're definitely not Lego. Hmm, there's a few issues with this order so far. Anyway, I need three of these for, and I've got one, <laughs> uh, for my the modifications to my monster truck. So that's good. Another head and another bag. That is another pilot. If you remember previous brick haul, I've already got two of these. This is actually a third one that's different as well. So this will be the third of my pilots. I'm hoping to have three pilots in three jets all flying in formation, sort of hanging from the ceiling, and that'll look rather special, I think. Then this is 
headpiece, but it's basically a fish in a bowl. So I quite like that. Another bag, another single piece. That is a clipboard with news written on it. That's going in my store, the same store as the cash register. Another single piece in the bag. Just a stop sign. I'm sure we can put that to use somewhere. I'll try and recycle these bags, I think. And we've got two decorated tiles with stickers for some sort of cargo. Always useful to have those. Can't get enough cargo. Got some yellow slopes. They'll be for my station. Incredibly dirty, some of these. So if they don't clean up well, then they'll be going back on the list for repurchase. And then we've got lots of these green bright green or even lime green almost um, vine pieces now I'm thinking again these will be used under the sea sort of almost like a kelp forest you can imagine that with fish swimming through so I think that'll look rather good so we need quite a few of those two pairs of legs they can either be somebody who's changing in a changing room with just their underwear on, or they could be at the beach with a white swimsuit, so very versatile. Here's a minifigure. This is the Wacky Witch. So I might find somewhere for the Wacky Witch to hang out in my city. Also got the very impressive black cat. So I like that either way. Now we've got a broomstick. It is used, but it seems to be in good nick. Yep. Three modified bricks. Four two by two by three bricks in white just to hold things up. a piece of glass with a sticker on. Now, I don't think I ordered that for the sticker. I think basically I'll just want the piece of uh, four by six glass and I'll just take the sticker off. I don't really want that friend sticker. So what didn't cost me any more, I think it was actually cheaper than buying glass without a sticker. Now, people who've watch my videos already will know that the crown is the symbol of my town, Brick Nottingham. So I'm going to put these as decoration wherever there's a public building or something like that. Got a few different flower types. There's three of the red sort of, what's that? Six pointed. Come on camera. There we go. And they're just a more interesting flower shape than the normal standard ones. And I've got this sort of gold helmet which came on one of the uh, more random minifigure series. Uh, minifigures. I think it was like an Aztec warrior or a flying warrior or something like that. Anyway, I was thinking that it might make a good statue if I got a gold minifigure and had it wearing this and with a bow and arrow in gold as well, then that would look quite impressive. That's the first part of all that that I've got. Another head. That is a choir boy singing, or will be, when I get my choir going. There's lots of bags with single heads in. Anyway, there is a sort of, not zooming today, sneaky head.
and a very bushy eyebrow head. Very good. Now I think we need lots of little adverts and billboards and so on. So this is from SpongeBob SquarePants, but it's just a two by four tile with something on it. So it can just be an advertising board or something like that. Glove World. Now these were cheap, just a pair of trousers for this surfer. They're really nice. Already got those on the surfer, but give them to somebody else on the beach. This is a torso, it's cowboy torso. The arms are very wobbly. It's a bit old. But I think it still looks good. Yeah, it's a bit bit battered. Some black modified bricks. Stubs on all four sides. Three more of those in a different bag. One more of those in a different bag. This vendor clearly likes bags. A skateboard to add to my collection. This one is a blue one with pink and purple stripes. Very nice, that can go with my recently acquired skater. Bigger bag here of lots of grey plates and these are all quite dirty and are all six by eight. And these are going to make up some of the platforms in my main station. Now these two pieces I've been wanting for a very long time, so they're probably one of the main reasons I've made this order. One is the 1432 stickered tile that's from the statue in the town square set. And um, this is actually the fourth one of these I've got, so I can have one on all four sides of my statue. So it's got a, uh, a little badge on, on every surface, which would be really nice. So I don't need any more of these, thank God. And that sticker will need moving using my hot tea technique. And then the other thing that's pretty interesting, now this is a really good quality. It's this sort of Aztec or Inca gold dish. That's one of the earlier sets. Oh, that's in really good condition. Usually these are quite worn, so that's really nice. Another minifigure. It's a man in a pale suit with big eyebrows, looking quite smug, in good condition. Now I think I bought him because I thought he'd be quite good in my casino because he looks a bit like Sean Connery, I think, James Bond. And what added to that idea was the fact that if he started losing, the other side of his face is this sweating, <laughs> scared, fraught face. So I think he may have to go and live in my casino. Another minifigure. Didn't have this one. It's the wildlife photographer. So they've got outdoor kit on, nice hat, winking face one side, goggles the other. Very nice, oops, very nice minifigure there. With a camera and most importantly of all, a penguin. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with this penguin, but it's very cool. Another piece of glass with that same sticker on that I'll be removing. Another pair of legs, this time with black hips and yellow legs. More glass pieces. One, two, three, four of the four by one by three window size. Now this is a torso from the shark suit guy and it's just got these flippers or yeah, flippers I suppose uh, on the sides. And I was thinking of making this into a fish for my under the sea uh, 
setup. Um, I've got a sort of body part that will go over this and it needs some sort of fins so it might work really well. That may not make a lot of sense to you at the moment but when I show you it, um, when we get to that, it, it can make more sense if it works. Oh, now this was another piece I wanted for quite a while. It's a flaming skull. Now I know exactly where I'm going to use this, and uh, but I can't can't share it yet because it will spoil a big surprise. But um, at some point we'll have a skeleton that perhaps should have a flaming skull, and now it will. Always like getting fish, and here is a fish in sand green which is a pretty rare colour, because I think it only came with a couple of the series minifigures. Quick slug of tea. Some more flower pieces. This time, quite big, floppy flowers in pink. Just two of those. If you buy them whenever, whenever you see them, then uh, eventually they build up. And you have enough to make a good use. Now this is a minifigure head with a sort of open mouth on it. You can see the tongue and the bit at the back of your mouth. So it's quite dark. The reason I got this, I knew this was coming, so I got this back out. This is the head from a Ninjago figure with an open mouth. And I wondered if that would look good in there. And I want to use this as an actual sea creature on my sea bottom. And although you can't probably see it that well in the light, it does actually work quite well. You can't see a great deal of it, but you can see the bit of the tongue and a bit of that bit that hangs at the back of the mouth. So, hmm, not bad. And then a massive mixed bag. I don't quite understand how this has been packaged, but nonetheless. So we've got a couple of door frames. A very dirty cupboard. I don't know if that's going to clean up. We'll try. A chameleon. Now, I haven't had one of these before. And it was mostly out of curiosity, really, that I bought it. But I thought it could go in my exotic pet shop. Um, which you'll see relatively soon, I suppose. Curved piece, lots of these Technic pieces. Basically, I use these as switches on motors just because it makes it a bit easier to turn them on the variable speed ones. There's a gold trident. Don't know what for. A couple of odd bits. Ah, now these. There's a few of these green balls. I was planning to make these into some sort of fruit if you just put some leaves on a sort of bracelet piece on the top. Then you've got some, I don't know, apples, melons, something like that. They're quite interesting. Some 1x6 arches in yellow. Now, I need these for my station. These are relatively hard to come by as well. These are a bit grubby, but I'm sure they'll clean up. So um, I needed four of those. So there they are. Some other yellow bits for my station. Equally grubby. Yep. Got a green backpack. It's quite interesting for a hiker or something. Three binoculars, another one of those, random round bricks. I've got some of these round bricks in different browns in order to represent a uh, beer for drinking at my pub. So um, just getting some different brands so people can be drinking different ales and lagers and all the rest of it. Some more blue bits, a white curved bit, some more cupboards. Propeller, one lone yellow flower of the same type as that red one earlier. A couple of gold bits. Ah, now these are to add to my 
gold dish pieces that I got the other day and then with these and a couple more pieces I'll be able to make a set of scales as in old-fashioned weighing scales in gold um, for a use yet to be revealed. One modified brick in yellow. A 1x16 brick in yellow. A Star Wars figure. So this isn't for my city. This is a crew member for my UCS Death Star, which I just have down here near my build table. And uh, it's just a general officer that will help populate that with a bit more, with a few more figures. Guitar for my pawnbroker. A sign for a crossing. Another advertising sign, which in this case will be advertising Bob's Kebabs. I don't know why sometimes it's kebab and sometimes kebab, but nonetheless, that's very dirty. But again, I can fix that and get rid of all the problems with my hot tea technique. <coughs> Patented, of course. Well, it's another one of those bricks with the footballers on. This was originally a a soccer football piece that was to represent a defensive wall for a free kick sort of thing but anyway whatever I don't know if it'll look good having that as a combined advert or not looks a bit odd doesn't it but it could be for clothing or something you never know two white 1x16 bricks they've both got stickers on but I'll just get rid of those the reason I've got them is for the bricks sometimes it's cheaper to get a piece with an unpopular sticker on it than it is to buy the piece with nothing on it so all good got some cupboard doors to go on those cupboards in translite blue a lot of shops and stores need to have products in them so here we've got Three tiles with turbo oil written on. Again, I have to move the stickers, but at least it will give us some product to sell. Maybe in a garage. Two more tiles. This time two by fours with tread plates on them. These are really useful for using um, all over the place, but I'll probably use these in the entrance way to my underground system. I'm going to have some underground trains running underneath my city and last but definitely not least is another pair of minifigure legs but these are the princess leia legs that go with the body that i got in my last haul or last but two haul can't remember so it's slave leia these are in good quality so it'll uh match that and she can either be on the beach or somewhere else yet to be decided but i liked it because it was a good star wars figure with the yellow skin because i don't tend to go for the flesh tones not in my city this is fine in my death star but my death star's not in my city <laughs> great so there we go good haul <coughs> so another good brick haul there are a few disappointments in there, non-Lego pieces, chewed pieces and so on, and a few dirty pieces, but I'm sure they'll clean up. Overall, I'm really happy though, because there's a lot to be going on with. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome Lego videos. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be back with our city update in the harbour area. See you next time!